Hi, my name is Susan, and I'm from Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield in New Jersey. Horizon administers the medical plans for active employees, non-Medicare retirees, and retirees enrolled in Medicare supplement plans of the New Jersey State Health Benefits Program, otherwise known as the SHBP. Today's presentation will provide you with information about the 2021 open enrollment for the SHBP. As you view this webinar, you may want to have a paper and pen to take some notes and a copy of the applicable 2021 Horizon SHBP Local Government Employee Plan Overview and Comparison Chart, which is available at www.horizonblue.com SHBP. You'll find that additional detailed information is also available at this website. During open enrollment, you may enroll, waive, change plans, add, or remove dependents. Children currently covered under the plan who turn 26 will be automatically removed from your plan on December 31st, and where appropriate, your level of coverage will automatically change from family to member spouse or from parent-child to single if this was the only child covered on your plan. This may also cause your payroll contribution to be changed. During open enrollment, children turning 26 can apply for COBRA for a maximum of three years or Chapter 375 coverage, which allows a child to be covered to age 31, provided that they are single, have no dependents, and live in New Jersey or are a full-time student outside of New Jersey. The premium for COBRA or Chapter 375 coverage will be billed directly to you by the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits. If you have a child currently on your plan who turned 26 this year and is disabled, you may be able to continue their coverage as an adult dependent on your plan. Please refer to Fact Sheet 51 found on the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits website. Don't forget that if you have a life event during the year, like getting married, have a baby, adopt or lose other group-based coverage, you have 60 days to complete and submit an enrollment form. Coverage will be retroactive to the date of the event. However, if you don't submit the form within 60 days, you'll have to wait until next year's open enrollment. And just a reminder that dual SHBP or SEHBP coverage is not allowed. So if you and your spouse both work for employers that participate in SHBP or SEHBP, you can't be covered twice under the plans. If you're changing plans, adding or removing dependents for the 2021 plan year, you must submit a fully completed enrollment form by October 31st or an earlier date if required by your specific employer. The forms will look similar to the illustrations shown on this slide. Don't forget to include dependent documentation for any new dependents that you may be covering. The dependent documentation requirements are noted on page three of the enrollment forms. And be sure to include your other currently covered dependents on the form as well. Otherwise, they may be removed from your coverage. If you're covering more than two children, check the box for additional sheets attached and then fully complete another form to include the additional children. The second form must be fully completed or it may not be processed by the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits. If you want to waive your SHBP coverage, you must submit a waiver form and include a photocopy of proof of your other coverage. Keep in mind that you must take or waive both medical and prescription. You cannot take medical and waive prescription or vice versa. No dependent documentation is required if you're waiving coverage. Please note that retirees may change their plan no more than once every rolling 12 months. Retiree enrollment forms should be mailed directly to the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits, but active employees should submit their enrollment form to their benefits office. At this time, please refer to the 2021 S Horizon SHBP plan comparison chart for local government employees from our website at horizonblue.com SHBP to see which plans are available to you and how much you'll pay out of your pocket, sometimes referred to as cost share, as you receive services throughout the year. 
the comparison chart will look similar to the illustrations shown on the slide. You have a variety of Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield medical plans available to you. Each plan has a different premium, which may affect how much you'll pay for the plan out of your paycheck or pension check if applicable. There are three categories of plans available. The HMO plan, the Omnia tiered network plan, and several PPO based plans. So let's start with your benefits when you use an in-network provider, which is shown in the upper section of the chart. The HMO and Omnia plans only have in-network benefits, so I'll describe them first, and then we'll talk about the PPO plans. When I say in-network, I'm referring to services received from a provider that has a contract with Horizon through the SHBP. An HMO plan is available and is noted on the far right side of the chart. Under an HMO, you must pick a primary care physician for you and each of your covered family members. You must get referrals from your primary care physician to see specialists. And you only have in-network benefits, unless you have an emergency. HMO providers are only located in New Jersey and the surrounding counties outside of New Jersey. The Omnia plan, which is shown on the far left side of the chart, comes with a lower premium than most other plans, so you'll likely pay less out of your paycheck. With Omnia, you'll have Tier 1 and Tier 2 in-network benefits for services received in New Jersey. When you use a Tier 1 network provider, it means that you'll pay a lower cost share than when using a Tier 2 provider. Outside of New Jersey, you'll have Tier 2 benefits available in network on a nationwide basis through Blue Card PPO. Tier 1 benefits are not available outside of New Jersey. If your provider, or rather if your employer, has passed the appropriate resolution, you may be eligible for an incentive program for first-time enrollees into the Omnia tiered network plan. If you're enrolling in Omnia for the first time for the upcoming plan year and remain in the Omnia plan for the full year, you may be eligible for a $1,000 financial incentive. Please remember that this financial incentive, if offered, is deemed reportable income for tax purposes. More information can be found on our website. And of course, please check with your employer regarding your eligibility for this incentive since it is voluntary and only available at the option of your employer. As noted under the Omnia plan, there are no out-of-network benefits, but unlike an HMO, you don't need to select a primary care physician or get referrals to see specialists. And just a note here that under all of the plans offered, the emergency room copay does not apply if you're admitted inpatient. In an emergency, go to the nearest facility without worrying whether it's in network. There are a variety of PPO based plans available. Refer to the middle section of the chart. All of the PPO plans include in network benefits, where you'll save money out of your pocket compared to using an out of network provider. For office visits and emergency room, You'll pay a flat copay, like $10, $15, et cetera, for an office visit, and emergency room copays like $75, $100, $150, dollars etc. The PPO plans also include in-network out-of-pocket maximums, which can save you more money throughout the year. When you pay in-network coinsurance throughout the year, and when I say coinsurance, think a percentage like 10% for durable medical equipment, private duty nursing, and ambulance. And if that amount out of your pocket, all those 10% adds up to the in-network coinsurance out-of-pocket maximum, like $800 or $400, you'll no longer be required to pay any more in-network coinsurance for the year. The in-network total out-of-pocket maximum will include the in-network coinsurance that we just referred to, those 10%, et cetera, in addition to your in-network co-pays, like $15 and $150, plus 
any in-network deductible required by the plan. So if you pay in-network co-pays like $15 and all the 10% in coinsurance adds up to $800, for example, under the NJ Direct plan, you'll no longer be required to pay any more in-network coinsurance, deductibles, or co-pays for the year. Now let's talk about what happens when you use an out-of-network provider in the PPO plans. So now we're going to refer to the bottom section of the comparison chart. If you use an out-of-network provider, that is a provider who does not have a contract with Horizon under the SHBP plan, you'll be responsible for paying an out-of-network deductible, coinsurance, in addition to the difference between what the out-of-network provider bills and the reasonable and customary amount, which could be significant. For out-of-network providers, the reasonable and customary amount is based on the 90th percentile as determined by Fair Health National for all of the PPO plans except the NJ Direct and NJ Direct 2019. Under the NJ Direct and NJ Direct 2019 plans, the reasonable and customary amount is 200% of CMS, that is what Medicare determines. Keep in mind that the in-network and out-of-network out-of-pocket maximums are tracked separately. And the amount that a provider bills, which is above the reasonable and customary allowance, does not accumulate to the out-of-network, out-of-pocket maximum. For all these reasons, most people prefer to use in-network providers so that they can control their costs. Let's dive into the PPO plans a little more. We'll start with the NJ Direct and NJ Direct 2019 plans which will typically cost you less out of your paycheck than the other plans. Under these plans, you'll pay $15 for in-network office visits and $150 for emergency room. If you were hired or retired on or after July 1st of 2019 and you select the NJ Direct plan, you'll have the NJ Direct 2019 plan version which is identical to the NJ Direct plan, but includes a $100 in-network deductible that applies to in-network services that require co-insurance, like durable medical equipment, private duty nursing, and ambulance. Under the NJ Direct and NJ Direct 2019 plans, if you use out-of-network providers, see the section at the bottom, you'll pay a $400 deductible and then 30% of what is considered reasonable and customary. If you use all in-network providers, the NJ Direct or NJ Direct 2019 plan may be one of the most cost-effective plans for you and your family out of your paycheck and out of your pocket. However, if you typically use out-of-network providers, you may pay more in cost share than if you were enrolled in one of the other PPO plans. Several other PPO plans are available, which include the copay in their name, like NJ Direct 10, NJ Direct 15, NJ Direct 1525, NJ Direct 2030, and NJ Direct 2035. One of the most popular plans is the NJ Direct 10 plan. This plan will cost you the most out of your paycheck when compared to all other plans. You'll pay $10 for in-network office visits and $75 for emergency room. If you use an out-of-network provider, you'll pay a $100 deductible and then 20% of what is considered reasonable and customary. If you have an out-of-network inpatient hospital stay, you'll pay $200 per stay in addition to the usual out-of-network cost share of deductible, coinsurance, and amounts above the reasonable and customary amount. Other PPO plans will cost you less out of your paycheck compared to the NJ Direct 10, but you'll pay more in cost share, that is, co-pays, co-insurance, deductibles, etc., as you receive services throughout the year. In addition to the standard PPO plans, you'll find two high-deductible health plans at the far right side of the PPO columns. Under the NJ Direct High Deductible Health Plans, or HD plans, you have in-network and out-of-network benefits. Once you've satisfied the integrated in-network, out-of-network deductible, 
You'll pay the noted coinsurance of 20% in network or 40% out of network up to the out of pocket maximum. You'll note that the deductible is high. Under the HD 1500 plan, you'll pay $1,500 in deductible for a single level of coverage before the plan pays, or $3,000 if you have any other level of coverage like parent, child, member, spouse, or family. Similarly, if you have the HD 4000 plan, you'll pay $4,000 in deductible for a single level of coverage before the plan pays, or $8,000 if you have any other level of coverage. It should be noted that eligible prescriptions are also part of the deductible, so plan accordingly. This is a good opportunity for me to let you know that under all of the SHB plans, certain preventive services are covered with no cost share to you when using in-network providers, so the deductible in those cases will not apply. When you're enrolled in an HD plan, we'll offer you a health savings account an HSA, through further, where you can save money on a tax advantage basis and your HSA can be saved or invested if desired. The money in your health savings account can be used toward any eligible medical expense. Unlike a flexible spending account, an FSA, the money in your HSA doesn't need to be spent within the year. It's your account and can be accessed at any point in the future. Please refer to the comparison chart for information about all of the plan options available and their applicable cost share for a variety of services. In addition, you can find more details about the plans by reviewing the member guidebooks found on the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits website. If you're a non-Medicare retiree, please note that you aren't eligible for the NJ Direct 2035 plan but you are eligible for two additional HMO plans, the Horizon HMO 1525 and Horizon HMO 2030 plans. An NJ Direct 10 plan may also be available to certain retirees. Non-Medicare retiree coverage automatically includes SHBP prescription drug coverage. For more information about plans available to retirees, please refer to the websites noted at the end of this presentation. Okay, so we just finished talking about how much you'll pay out of your pocket in co-pays, co-insurance, and deductible as you receive services throughout the year under the various plans. Now let's talk about how much you'll pay out of your paycheck for the year. To assist you in determining the annual amount that'll come out of an active employee's paycheck, the 2021 Contribution Calculator on the Horizon website is based on the information from Chapter 78. This calculator will look similar to the illustration shown on this slide. If you use our contribution calculator, you'll need to enter the appropriate employee type as local government and select your desired level of coverage, for example, single, family, etc. your prescription plan option, your annual base pay, and indicate whether you were hired before or after July 1st, 2019. The calculator will advise you which plans are available and where applicable, the amount that'll be deducted from your paycheck over the course of 2021. Please check with your employer to verify which prescription option applies and whether the Chapter 78 contribution or another negotiated agreement applies. If another arrangement applies, please disregard the results of the calculator. As mentioned earlier, most employees will experience a reduced premium contribution when selecting the NJ Direct, NJ Direct 2019, or Omnia plan compared to other available plans. Retirees who are responsible for the full share or a partial share of the retiree premium can find the full plan cost, which includes prescription, at the New Jersey Division of Pensions and Benefits website. The rate chart will look similar to the illustration shown on this slide. As mentioned in a previous slide, when you use an in-network provider 
you'll pay less out of your pocket than when using a provider that's not in our network. To find a participating provider, go to horizonblue.com slash doctorfinder. When using the site, you can search by doctor, other healthcare professional, or hospital. Refine your search by selecting filters for distance, gender, and language. View maps and get door-to-door -door directions to a doctor's location. And create a customized directory for doctors and specialties you use most often within a specified distance. For those interested in the HMO plan, we have about 70,000 in-network providers in New Jersey and the surrounding counties outside of New Jersey. HMO members can also refer to our website to see if you qualify for away from home care outside of this service area. All of the PPO plans and Omnia use the same network as the HMO plan in New Jersey. However, you'll also have access to a nationwide provider network with over 1.7 million providers participating in network. Under the Omnia plan, Approximately two-thirds of our in-network doctors in New Jersey are considered Tier 1, where you'll pay less out of your pocket. The other third in New Jersey, plus the in-network providers outside of New Jersey, are considered Tier 2. Keep in mind that if you use a Tier 2 provider, you'll pay more out of your pocket than when using a Tier 1 provider. If you're searching for an NJ Direct or Omnia provider outside of New Jersey, scroll down in the Doctor Finder to find doctors outside of New Jersey. And when prompted, be sure to enter your plan as NJX, like New Jersey X, X ray, that is, NJX for all of the NJ Direct name plans, and NJO, as in New Jersey Omnia, for the Omnia plan. The Amino Provider and Facility Search is also offered, and there you'll be able to search for in-network providers in New Jersey only. But it will allow you to search by symptoms, such as headache or high blood pressure. You can also book a medical appointment using Amino. See our website for more information. As mentioned, the PPO and Omnia plans use the same provider network with over 1.7 million providers participating nationwide in network through Blue Card PPO. That's 96% of hospitals and 95% of doctors nationally that are in network. You can also take your health care benefits with you when you're abroad. You'll have access to doctors and hospitals around the world through Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield Global Core. We have convenient and cost-effective options available to you. With all of our plans, you have access to in-network lab services through our preferred labs nationwide with LabCorp and Quest. But keep in mind that charges incurred at labs outside of a facility other than lab Core and Quest are not covered unless it's a service that requires an authorization or a specialized service that can't be rendered by an in-network laboratory. Your doctor or Horizon Health Guide can help direct you to the appropriate lab. You also have access to in-network retail health clinics where on-site board-certified nurse practitioners can diagnose and treat conditions and prescribe medications. You can also receive treatment for common ailments like colds or set seasonal allergies. Receive eligible immunizations through participating New Jersey pharmacies for vaccines, including flu, shingles, hepatitis A and B, pneumococcal, and HPV. Be sure to give your medical plan ID card to the pharmacy, and they'll automatically submit the claim for you. To find a participating pharmacy for immunizations, visit horizonblue.com slash SHBP flu. Additionally, you have access to urgent care centers when you need medical care to treat wounds, sprains, and other conditions that need immediate attention but aren't life-threatening. Don't forget to use an in-network urgent care center so that you're only responsible for your in-network cost share. Please remember, if you use an out-of-network urgent care center, 
You'll be responsible for the out-of-network deductible, coinsurance, and any amount above the reasonable and customary amount. If you're enrolled in an HMO, you'll need a referral from your primary care physician to go to an in-network urgent care center. You also have access to telemedicine at the touch of a button through the Horizon Blue app. In addition, you can ask your doctor if you can talk to them via video, chat, or phone. And if you use an in-network doctor for eligible services, you'll only pay your in-network cost share. If you use an out-of-network doctor, you'll be responsible for the out-of-network deductible, coinsurance, and any amount above the reasonable and customary amount. Eligible members can enroll in a direct primary care medical home, DPCMH, with R Health, Paladina Health, or Sanitas, and get unlimited access to personalized care with no co-payments, same day and next day appointments for urgent issues, evening and weekend availability, little to no wait to see your doctor, on-site blood work, and basic medications for acute conditions at no cost. And if you're enrolled in a DPCMH and eligible for NJ Well, a well visit plus a follow-up office visit with your DPCMH doctor equals an NJ Well biometric health screening and 700 points. An online health assessment is still required to earn the NJ Well gift card. We'll talk more about NJ Well in a moment. Please note that HMO and high deductible health plan members are not eligible for DPCMH. To find a DPCMH location near you and to learn more about DPCMH, visit the New Jersey Division of Pension and Benefits website. The NJ Well program is for SHVP active employees along with their covered spouse or partner. Children of any age are not eligible for NJ Well. The NJ Well program year runs from November 1st to October 31st each year, so you may still have an opportunity to participate and receive an NJ Well prepaid card by earning 800 points in the program by October 31st of this year. To participate in NJ Well, you must complete an online health assessment worth 100 points on our website and complete and submit a biometric health screening, which is also worth 100 points. You must register for the required health screening in advance and several options are available, including an at-home test kit. Additional points that are needed to earn the prepaid card can be obtained from activities such as online activities, coaching, and preventive screenings. Visit our website for more information about how to sign up for a biometric health screening and for other valuable information at horizonblue.com slash shbp or nj.gov slash njwell. We're pleased to introduce Horizon Be Fit for SHBP members starting January 1st. Covered employees and retirees, a covered spouse or partner, and children age 18 or older who enroll in Horizon Be Fit can receive a $20 incentive for every month in which they visit a fitness facility or walk at least 10,000 steps for at least 12 days per month. SHBP members will also have access to virtual Horizon Be Fit at Home features to earn incentives and stay motivated to maintain their overall wellness. You can register for BFIT at any time after October 1st so that you're ready to begin tracking toward incentives in January. The registration link will be on our website. All of the SHBP medical plans include access to an annual routine eye exam for each covered family member, but only when using an in-network provider. Glasses, contacts, and frames aren't covered under any of the medical plans. However, we do have discounts available when you register through Blue 365. Blue 365 also offers discounts for other wellness products and services like vitamins, gyms, and more. Again, the link for Blue 365 is on the horizonblue.com slash SHVP website. All members have access to My Health Manager, where you can create a personal health record. 
take an online health assessment, and receive feedback on how to improve or maintain your health and more. We also have health and wellness programs and resources available for maternity management through Precious Editions. We also have free digital health and wellness coaching programs available for management of diabetes, hypertension, musculoskeletal conditions like back, knee, hip, neck, and or shoulder pain, and weight management through Livongo and Hinge Health. You may recall seeing information about these programs recently in your email or regular mail. You can learn more about these programs on our website, including how to see if you qualify and information to get started. Our behavioral health team is here to support you 24-7, 365 days a year. Call 1-800-991-5579. The number on the back of your ID card or Horizon Health Guide will help guide you to the right source. You'll have access to urgent care within 24 to 48 hours, transition management, ambulatory follow-up, telehealth, support, and education. Virtual telehealth solutions are also available with Livongo, Eleanor Health, Joyable, Workit, Caden, and Able2. Supportive care is also available for end-of-life issues. Joyable is a self-directed virtual service available to support your emotional well-being at no cost and can be done in the comfort of your home, on your phone, without anyone knowing that you're helping yourself to get better. Eleanor Health and Caden Health all provide virtual medication-assisted treatment for those experiencing substance use disorders, including opioid and or alcohol use disorder. Keep in mind that medications for opioid and alcohol use are considered the gold standard for treatment. Able to provides virtual therapy and coaching for members with behavioral and medical comorbidities like diabetes and heart disease. It's used to treat depression, anxiety, and stress associated with comorbid medical conditions and life events. Check out our website at horizonblue.com slash SHBP for details on these programs, resources, resources, services, and more. We're pleased to continue to offer SHBP members our enhanced concierge member services experience through Horizon Health Guide. Here are some of the services that our health guides are responsible for. I'll begin with the service guides. They handle a broad range of medical services, such as primary care physician selection assistance, eligibility and benefits, payment support, claim status, provider selection, care management referrals, appointment scheduling, preventative care, and member education. Our expanded services include nurses and additional staff with a clinical background. Our nurses provide 24-7 support and education on any type of medical condition. They also assess your needs to deliver recommendations on appropriate levels of care and are able to refer you to either care management or other health programs. We also have our clinical staff who are able to coordinate your care with our care management team for any chronic conditions that you have while undergoing a treatment plan. It's great when your care can be monitored and followed through on so that your medical path is easier and less stressful. Remember to register and sign in at horizonblue.com SHBP. When you're registered and signed on to this site, you'll then be able to download the Horizon Blue app on your smartphone for quick and easy access to your information. On our website, you'll have access to view your coverage, claims details, and update other coverage information, which you should do at least once every year. You can also look up doctors, hospitals, and other healthcare professionals, view and print your ID card, access the NJ Well site, and more. You can also access You can also chat live with a Horizon Health Guide during business hours or email us questions through our secure email and review frequently asked questions. Once registered on the website, 
will notify you when claims are processed and will also email you health news and information such as wellness tips, reminders, and dates of upcoming webinars, events, and online programs. Remember to keep your email address current on our website to receive this valuable information. And once again, please remember to download the Horizon Blue app on your smartphone for easy and convenient access to your information. Just a couple of reminders, you will not be receiving new ID cards unless you're changing plans or your level of coverage changes. Find more information about SHBP at the websites noted or by contacting your Horizon Health Guide. On behalf of Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield in New Jersey, thank you for viewing this webinar.